A man named Rex Soon is facing a court case for selling cornflakes on a Sunday in Ohio. He wakes up on the morning of his court appearance, groggy and unprepared. He quickly throws on his pajamas, not bothering to change into a more appropriate clothing. As he arrives at the court, he is met with stares and snickers by the other attendees due to his unusual attire. The judge, Judge Cozy, is a fancy young boy who allows him to enter the courtroom, but not without a stern warning about important dress code and legal setting. Raxoon is presented by a lawyer named Hezekai6478, who tries to defend Raxoon by arguing Raxoon was not aware that it is legal to sell cornflakes on a Sunday in Ohio. And that is was a simple mistake. Rise. You may be seated. Mr. Rexan. I must say, your clothes are quite strange for a court appearance. I really think you should change into something more proper for the trial. I'm very sorry, Your Honor. I didn't know it was such a big deal. I'll make sure to wear the right clothes next time. You better. Now let's start the case. Um, you are accused of selling cornflakes on a Sunday in Ohio. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor, but I had no idea it was illegal. I was just trying to make a living. The prosecution, a man named Nugget, who is visibly hungry and can be heard with his stomach growling, argues that ignorance of the law is not an excuse and that Raxoon should know known better. He presents the evidence of Raxoon's previous convictions for similar offenses and also can calls witnesses who saw Raxoon selling cornflakes on said Sunday. They, you. The defendant's ignorance of the law is not a valid excuse. Excuse. He should have known better. He has been caught multiple times before for similar offenses. He is a habitual offender. Miss it. Your Honor, my client may have made a mistake, but it was. Not intentional. He was simply trying to make a living and was not aware of the law. He is willing to pay fine and take responsibility for his actions. It may not be necessary to make an example out of him as it is just a small offense. Your Honor, maybe sit? Yes, sir. The defendant's willingness to take responsibility is commendable. But it doesn't change the fact that he broke the law and should be held accountable. After hearing both sides of the argument, Judge Cozy takes some time to re consider the evidence and testimony presented. The ultimate finds Fraxoon guilty of breaking the law and fines him $450 and sends him to one week in solitary confinement. As Fraxoon wakes up and leaves the courtroom, Still in his pajamas, he can't but feel embarrassed and regretful for not taking the case more seriously and for not falling asleep in the middle of it. He learns from his mistakes and vows to be more responsible and aware of the laws in the future, to always dress appropriately for the court, and always be prepared for more court cases ahead.